Everyone, welcome back to Femacy Lighthouse. Thank you so much for being here with me once more on my channel. To book a private one-on-one -on -one session with me, all of that info can be found in the description box below of this video. The moon is in Leo today, and I'm sure you can feel the intensity of that already. And it's facing off with Pluto, basically Scorpio energy. And so it's like, the sun is beaming on some things that someone wants you to change, all right? And it's up to you, you know, you don't have to change. However, when you have the sun focused on transformation, someone's gonna bring it up to you. It may be your sun. It may be someone that you view as a sun. The sun is on Scorpio energy. So it's like Leo is asking you to take a look at some sort of shadow part of yourself. And they're going to utilize someone else to do it. And whether you want to change or not, it's up to you. I'm just here to let you know what the energies are like, okay? So we have water and fire. We know that water can put out the fire, but in this case, we're talking about the sun. All right, so let's take a look at the recent past, the present, and the future. Spirit, please speak to me in reference to the recent past when it comes to energies that surround Taurus. King of Cups, Scorpio coming out here, you see. We have the King of Cups energy. And this person that's bringing up certain topics to you, they love you. You are very important to this individual and something that they are saying is making you want to change something and you're not doing it for them. It's like, you know that you need to do it for yourself as well, okay? And the reason why you want to change, it's because you have so much respect for whomever this is. These readings are not only about a lover. If you come here, to hear about a lover, then it's up to your own intuition to pick up on who I'm talking about. But these are family members. These are friends of ours as well. It's not always a love interest. It could be for some of you, but for everyone watching, it's someone different. You have a lot of respect for this person, whomever they are. It could be your parent. And recently, I feel like this person said something to you and you were taken back by it. You didn't find it offensive, but it's like there was some sort of reality check. And because of that, there's some positive changes that I see you making or wanting to make. Tell me more. Talk to me about Scorpio energy coming out here as Leo faces off with Scorpio, but not in a negative way. King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, tell me more. It's that somebody has so much love for you here in the recent past, but they feel like you don't want to hear them out with the King of Swords energy. And we also have the Emperor energy. So you're showing up as the Emperor and the King of Swords. They still have respect for you anyway. They still love you anyway. I feel like you are going to change, but because you want to do that, you're not doing it for anybody else. You're not. But it's like 
there's something that recently came to you or this person brought up to you because of this sun with Scorpio energy that has everything to do with transformation and you will be transforming. We have the king and the emperor. So they understand where you're coming from, okay? They still trying to be a part of your life. They still want you, even if they feel you are the emperor and the king of swords. And as a matter of fact, you have more than one option. You have a scorpionic energy, a Pisces energy, Cancer, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay? They're coming at you from, from different angles in the recent past here. Tell me more. Talk to me about the present, please. Talk to me about the present when it comes to this energy. The present. Coming out here is the Four of Cups. Cancer, Scorpionic energy. All right? Take a look at this. Is this you or is this somebody else, right? There's no need to, to be down about whatever this person is trying to say to you, okay? I'm not sure if this happened already or it may be happening. I just feel like there's somebody that pointed something out and I feel like you love this person or you have respect for them. And because of what they pointed out, you're saying to yourself, I'm gonna change that. I'm gonna change that one thing, but because it's been a long time coming and I know that right now is the time and this is coming from someone that I love. So with the sun forcing me to look inside of the shadow, scorpionic energy in this face off, you are willing to transform. Tell me more. Seven of Swords energy. Who is this person though? This is somebody completely different. Seven of Swords. There's like another earth sign around you. Who is this other earth sign? Capricorn, could be another Taurus, could be a Virgo. That other earth sign, it's like, I don't know if you're trying to get away from the other earth sign or if they are trying to get away from another earth sign. This sound like that going on. Someone is trying to get away from this person. It does not feel like your energy to me. It doesn't feel like the person that I'm talking to. You know what I mean? It feels like this is another earth sign. This is like a Capricorn or um could be a Virgo, but I'm feeling Capricorn energy as I speak to you. Tell me more. The strength card, Leo energy, the sun. Tell me more. Communication. Yeah. So what is the communication about here? The lovers. All right. So... <laughs> Somebody just wants to express everything to you, what you mean to them, why they are behaving the way that they are. That's what this energy is telling me. And they feel the loss, 10 of pentacles in reverse. So I don't know if there was a fallout. They feel it and they don't like how it feels. They don't like to sit in that energy. Yeah, they want things to be repaired. Someone wants something to be better you know, or go back to how things were. Major emphasis on the fact that we're not always talking about a past lover here. We all have family members and friends and people that are very important in our life. We have children, we have pets, we have, you know what I mean? Like, this could be anyone. This is someone that is feeling the loss. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. They don't like how that feels. 
You know who this person is. You know who they are. Talk to me about the future. Seven of Wands, fire energy. Tell me more about the future. Seven of Pentacles, guilt. Tell me more. Page of Wands. Somebody feels like even if they wanted to squash it with you, that you're not going to accept it. Someone feels here in the future that you're not accepting any offers. How would they know? I mean, listen, I don't know if this is your homegirl or if this is one of your boys or whoever it is, but like, how would they know? They need to try. It's like someone is intimidated to ask you a question, Taurus, or to take it there with you. I don't know why that is. They're guilty. I see the guilt here. And I also see the seven of wands energy where someone there is, is blocking somebody else. It's like they're, they're blocking, but at the same time, they miss you. So it's like, pick one. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like they're blocking Either they blocked you or they're trying to block out this whole thing when deep down inside you can't because you feel bad about what you did or you keep thinking about it. You keep thinking about what you did. So it's like if someone blocks you, you're important, period. Because when someone really does not give a fuck, they ain't not going to block you. I don't give a fuck. I don't care who likes me or not. I ain't going to block you. You're not important. <laughs> the moment I block you, I make you important. You feel me? So the thing is, is that somebody blocks somebody here when they really want to be a part of the situation. And we have this page of wands where it's like they want to talk to you, but they feel like you don't want to talk to them. And maybe you don't. What is the outcome? Spirit, please speak to me in reference to the outcome. The Queen of Wands and the Four of Wands. Yeah. Leo energy, Empress at the bottom of the deck. You already know what the outcome is. You have a fan. You have somebody that really loves you here. Sometimes having a fan is not such a bad thing. You got somebody that looks up to you and they value you and they want to talk to you about something. They are a bit intimidated, but they view you as the queen of wands, Leo energy under this Leo moon, having the face off with Scorpio and the four of wands. All right, so that's what I have for you, Taurus. To book a private session, all of that info is below. Take care.